Hi, welcome to Finance Gopher. We shall walk through the main features of GoForecast. Separated into four parts, part one will demonstrate GoForecast's fully integrated set of financial statement outputs. Part two, funding and value, will demonstrate how GoForecast can easily show you how much funding you need, when you need it, and the likely return to your investors. The input structure, part three, will dive into the model in a little more detail. Here we shall demonstrate the model's inbuilt flexibility, show you how easy it is to populate, and also the high level of support available. And finally, part four will demonstrate how GoForecast can incorporate your monthly management accounts. It can produce variance reports to highlight where actual performance stiffers to budget, and importantly, can determine how your actual trading will affect your future cash positions. Part one, output structure. GoForecast is delivered in the familiar Microsoft Excel environment. It can work on both PC and Macs and places no restriction on the version of Excel that you must have in order to use it. GoForecast is a small workbook contained on only a few Excel worksheets. All of the user's input assumptions are found on these three yellow tabs. The model then interprets those assumptions before outputting its financial statements here. Clicking this Show Detail button will expand the Profit and Loss Account section for viewing. Elsewhere in the model, you can easily change the description of each of the P&L headings and also increase or decrease the number of rows shown. This flexibility means you can quickly adjust the layout of the P&L accounts just as you need it. GoForecast outputs two cash flow statements, an easy to understand receipts and payment style cash flow and a secondary cash flow prepared on a flow of funds basis. This format calculates cash generated from your operating activities, which funders can use as a benchmark to assess your business before the effect of financing and capital investment. Additionally, with two cash flows calculating the same closing cash balance, they enhance credibility of a set of forecasts and so funders take more comfort from a model's outputs. And a balance sheet fully integrated with the above financial statements. We will cover exit calculations in part two of this demonstration, but jumping back to the first financial statement shown, rather than a one-size-fits-all approach, GoForecast is available in multiple formats, tailored to various industries. Instead of entering plain turnover estimates over time, GoForecast incorporates an appropriate number of steps to first calculate your key business drivers. As a result, via this key performance statistics section, GoForecast is able to present the underlying assumptions that are driving the turnover and other amounts predicted in your profit and loss account. There are separate videos that cover the area specific to each different model type. For now, we shall just continue with an overview of the model and cover those aspects available in all versions of GoForecast. To output the financial statements, GoForecast emails them straight to your inbox. We shall first expand all sections. Then click the Go Forecast Tools tab to access the Outputs macro. Select an annual outputs. We then have the option to email them as a PDF report or in the format of various Excel workbooks should you wish to use them in Excel on your local PC. The email will arrive in a matter of minutes. And given the report is now sitting in your inbox, it's therefore very easy for you to archive the reports and so keep a reliable audit trail for future reference. Part 2. Funding and Value This is the Dashboard tab, a handy one-page summary of the model's calculations. To the right, we have high-level KPIs illustrating the underlying assumptions, together with summaries of the financial statement outputs, and we have graphs of cash position and funding liabilities over time. The funding liabilities chart shows we have raised £500,000 from our equity investors, but how did we know we needed that amount of funding? Go Forecast shows you how much you need and when you need it. To demonstrate this, we shall go to our investor funding assumptions on the General Inputs tab, and to speed up navigation in the model, we will use the hyperlinks form available from the Go Forecast Tools tab. Within the Balance Sheet section, we have our investor funding assumptions. Clicking this button will take us to the section of the General Inputs sheet that contains those assumptions. Here we can see the amounts of investor funding which represent the £500,000 shown on the dashboard. 
If we were to remove this funding, the model's projected cash position would be overdrawn, as noted by this cash description wording at the top. If we now jump back to the dashboard, we can see the charts are showing a worse position with negative cash reserves over time. And so Go Forecast is indicating that we need to raise some funding in order to maintain a positive cash position. Those amounts required to return cash to positive are therefore the amounts we require from our investors. And so let's now enter this by the Investor Funding section. This time, we shall click the Show Performance button at the top of the General Input Sheet. A dynamic cash flow chart is then presented to the user. This allows us to keep the projected cash position visible whilst we change our budget assumptions. We shall adjust the chart to focus on only the first year's cash flows. And so here, Go Forecast is showing the months in which we need to raise funding. If we now return to the investor funding assumptions, keeping an eye on the cash chart at the top, at the required dates, we can enter sufficient amounts in order to return cash to positive. Jumping back to the dashboard, we can now see with £500,000 investor funding, we are sufficiently funded. But what does that mean to our investors? At the top left of the dashboard, we have summary outputs from the investor return functionality. Return calculations are based on industry standard valuation techniques, assuming an exit at a user-defined date within the five-year forecast period. And so, based on these projections, we can see Go Forecast has calculated a 2.8 million enterprise value at exit, and based on a 70-30 split of shareholding from management to external investor, the external investor is anticipated to achieve an internal rate of return of 34.5%. This return may be sufficient for the investor, or perhaps they require a minimum hurdle of, say, 40%. If so, we can let Go Forecast calculate how much of a shareholding the external investor would need in order to achieve their hurdle. In this instance, management keep around 60%. Therefore, the external investor would need a 40% share to achieve their 40% hurdle. We can very quickly illustrate a what-if scenario with the contingency inputs below, such as what would happen if the number of properties serviced were to decrease by say 10%, or increase by 10%, and the effect that that has on projected performance and investor returns. Investor return functionality gives you information to lead negotiations with potential investors, rather than be led, and hopefully can enable you to achieve a more favourable position in any funding agreements. Part 3. Input Structure On the summary P&L, we can see admin staff costs of £155,000 in Year 1. We can change the denomination setting to show these values without running to thousands. Now we can see staff costs at £154,630, and we can use the hyperlinks form to quickly jump to our staff costs inputs. At the end of this employee input section is a summary. This allows us to easily analyse the dashboard values into the underlying assumptions. Here we can see employees 1 to 3 were employed during year 1, and their salary, together with employers Nash Insurance, equaled the staff costs in the P&L. Such summaries are at the end of all of the input sections on this general input sheet. Within an input section, all yellow cells represent a user assumption that you must fill out, and at the start of each input section, there are user notes to guide you through how to fill out those yellow boxes. One of the key design characteristics is Go Forecast's inbuilt flexibility. While six employees are sufficient for this demonstration, you may need more employee inputs in order to forecast your company. Here we turn to the row macros located in the Go Forecast Tools section. The row macros permit you to insert rows or to delete them. Selecting Insert Rows, we can then select the section we want to adjust. For this purpose, we shall insert a new employee at the end of the Admin Staff Cost section. We can now see another employee row for employee 7. And if we assume they were employed on the first month of year 1, on a salary of £50,000, we can see their salary cost have an increased total staff costs. This hopefully demonstrates that it is a very simple process to adapt Go Forecast for your requirements. And as mentioned in part one of this demonstration, the profit and loss account financial statement can be tailored to your company by changing the number of P&L lines. This is also carried out via the row macros in an equally simple fashion. For now, we would just zero the salary so as not to change our budget assumptions. There is always an element of learning with any new piece of software. 
To help the learning process, we have incorporated a wealth of instructions and information within lots of small videos, embedded directly within the model. Via the Go Forecast Tools tab, we can access the video menu. There are lots of how-to videos containing detailed operating instructions. And also, these demonstration videos are included for information. Click and play will launch the video screen. Part 2. Funding and Value The video screen has all of the functions you would expect from a video player, including easy navigation within a scene and to the other available scenes using the video menu. It can also be left visible as you work within Go Forecast. Therefore, without having to leave Excel, the inbuilt videos can walk you through the model step by step. No need to refer to a cumbersome user manual. And so the combination of a simple input structure, inbuilt user notes and instructional videos should help you become self-sufficient very quickly. But help and support doesn't stop there. Please either click the model support button on the hyperlinks form or click straight from the Go Forecast Tools tab. The resulting contact form will allow you to send us an email from within the model without needing to open up your own email tool. We're on hand to answer any questions or even to tailor the model further to your needs. You can also call us should you have any urgent requests, we're happy to help. Part 4. Ongoing Trading so far, this demonstration has focused on the budgets and forecasts for the next five years. However, Go Forecast can do much more. As we can see on the dashboard, the column headers show year one as budget with years two to five as forecast. If we now jump to the timeline inputs in the model, we can change the model's layout to incorporate historic data showing the company's performance prior to the forecast. The timeline is critical to the model's calculations. As such, there are a number of user notes to walk us through this section. And we could also refer to the specific how-to videos for the timeline section. We will adjust the number of historic years. Go Forecast allows us to show up to three years previous trading. For now, we will just select two. Jumping back to the dashboard, we can now see those two years historic performance. Additional columns will also now be shown on the Annual Outputs tab. This format allows us to sense check our budget and forecast assumptions versus our prior performance. For demonstration purposes, we will return the model to a budget only setting. Before we do, we shall make a note of our year one budget performance, EBITDA of negative £119,000. In addition to historic data, Go Forecast can also accept your trading performance as you trade throughout the first budget year. We shall now tell Go Forecast that we are three months into our financial year. Please note that we must have already entered our management account performance on the historic data tab. Having incorporated three months of actual performance, our estimated year one EBITDA is worse than previously budgeted, now at negative £129,000, and our forecast cash position has also updated accordingly. The year one column header now indicates budget and actual performance, and Go Forecast can now produce a number of variance reports to explain why performance has changed. Clicking the Actual versus Budget button on the Go Forecast Tools tab, we will first set the format of the report, selecting full year and quarterly variances. And we will compare from our entirely budget assumptions to our version now incorporating March performance. Go Forecast will now gather the data and prepare the report of variances. The variance report shows variances for all of the financial statements, including profit and loss account, cash flows and balance sheet. But for this demonstration, we will focus on P&L variances only. Here we can see the full year performance and that our EBITDA for the entirely budget period was £119,000 and that incorporating March's actual performance, EBITDA reduced to £129,000. But importantly, we can see why the performance worsened. It would appear that our admin staff costs were higher than budgeted, as were our establishment expenses. Looking at each of the quarterly variances, we can see the entire movement occurred within the first quarter to March, as we would expect but we can also run the report to show us in which months our budget numbers are out, not just quarters. This report can then allow us to investigate our actual performance to understand why it differed to budget in those months. Such investigation may determine that we need to update our ongoing budget assumptions in order to reflect reality. If so, Go Forecast has therefore helped us to budget more accurately. 
Thanks for your time watching our demonstration. Go Forecast is available for instant access. It is a powerful forecasting tool which can add a great deal more value than the cost of its monthly subscription. We hope you will join us and we look forward to working with you soon.